Wow, Leverkusen's unbeaten streak has gone. And it was at the hands of Atlanta, a very good Atlanta team, who managed to bash up Xabi Alonso's Leverkusen side like nobody else has done this season. And then realistically, if you're comparing them to other invincible sides, they have done absolutely brilliant. The way they have amassed 90 points, only six draws. They've been by Munich, people like this. But in Europe, they've had a sort of very casual road, some might say, compared to Atlanta. Obviously, they beat West Ham, they came back and they maintained that unbeaten streak by scoring in the 90th minute. But I feel like Atlanta really shown what they're about this season. I think they beat Sporting, they obviously beat Liverpool, beat Liverpool good, and they've just beaten Bayer Leverkusen and ended their unbeaten streak. 51, which has a record. Xabi Alonso has done amazing this season and what he's done. It could still end up in a double. But obviously, they were just beaten by the better team. I think Atlanta did exactly what they did to Liverpool, pressing them on the front foot, not letting them have any room. And the fact that Xabi Alonso didn't play Boniface or Schick, not having a striker, I've never, of the games I've watched, I've never saw him do that. Obviously, I think the commentators are saying he switched around the formation a lot, but it just gave, especially when you're looking for that player to hold up the ball, flick it around the back, or... You know, if you cross it into the box, they lack that. The hole in the sh um, striking position really did cost them in the end. And Luckman stole the show because Luckman in the eyes, tell me what it takes. One goal, two goal, three goal, he'll score a hat-trick. Unbelievable stuff, especially that first goal. The defender just froze still. He, he saw the ball watching and he should have really intercepted it. But Luckman... Takes his chances. Brilliant finish. Brilliant by... I can't quite remember who crossed it in. But it's brilliant ball. And look and finish. And it's all the bang. You know what I mean? Leverkusen seemed a little bit nervy. Which, you know, we don't really see for them much. But it's a sucker blow to them. And um, by Leverkusen, they tried to come back from that. But as I said, that recognised striker didn't really help. And Luckman struck again with a fantastic goal. One of the best goals. Some may say people have seen the final of a Europa League. Obviously, there's been, I think, the Awobi one where he scored that absolute bangers. But the individual brilliance for him to take it around the player's legs and finesse it into that bottom right with such power and speed, it was unbelievable. And he just had so much freedom on that side because of the way um, Everkusen set up at the three back from uh, Hong is so far forward. He's got that little gap in between the centre back or the right centre back and. Um, from Pong where he operated absolutely exceptionally. And they made it 2-1. Well. You're thinking, right, it's half an hour gone, I think. Something like that. Leverkusen have came back from a 2-0 defeat before to draw or to even win it, you know, some may say. So people might be going, ah, oh, you know what, that it could happen. And Leverkusen are already kicking to the 75th minute or something like this. And they started the second half with Boniface coming on, made a few options. There was getting... More chances, obviously, in the first half, they had that chance where they could have chipped the keeper. I wouldn't have said it's a sitter, but they definitely had a few little moments. Overall, though, Atlanta was still the better side in the second half, and they managed the game very, very well. Leverkusen, I feel like Xhaka at times really tried to force it with a few of his shots, but... As I say, Atlanta were there on the front form during the time. They didn't stop the way they were playing, even at that 85th minute, that 86th minute, the 87th minute. It was still play the way you're playing, and they won the ball back a lot. Obviously, Leverkusen going to have a little bit more possession. But it was in around that time, 75th, 76th minute, where Luckman struck for a third time the only hat-trick in a European final. And it's Adam Ola Luckman, who has been at Everton, he's been at Leicester, he's been at Fulham. And now he's winning the Europa League final and having a major part in it. He was absolutely unbelievable. What a goal for the third one. Incredible stuff. You've just got to tip your hat to him and give him a round of applause because that was some performance. And even from all the other players, the way they forced Leverkusen to make mistakes, they were losing him in midfield so many times, especially in the first half. And they just couldn't deal with the suffocation. It was similar to like Liverpool at Anfield. They can go to a ground and really, really suffocate you and make the small pitch look so small. Leverkusen have never really experienced before. So it was the first time. But as I said, it, I wonder how they're going to do in the Champions League because they have going to come against a lot bigger teams. And everyone's obviously expecting them to do well and punch against their weight. But we're going to have to see. Obviously, if they lose the DF, KB, Polka, or whatever it's called, then we're like, oh, that season you did really well, but it's sort of unrailed at the end, and that is harsh. Does the record then like get sort of a negative view on it? Obviously, it won't really, because it will last 
in history, their record. But what I'm saying is, it'll be a little bit disappointing when they've got the three finals, or sort of, they've won the um, Bundesliga, then got to these other two and sort of failed at the last hurdle. But I can only just appreciate Atlanta. I think this game, Leverkusen maybe could have started a striker, but other than that, they got outclassed and outplayed on that day by Atlanta. They were just the better team than them. And they've got nothing to be ashamed about because of the season they've had. If they go and finish it with another trophy, then it's a great season for Javi Alonso. It already is a great season. But yeah, absolute madness in the Europa League final. Them little knockout games, anything can happen. And who would have expected their streak to end? Wowza. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.